Wednesday, December 27, 2023. 20, Best baseball player of the year, brand new decade, 1960. Two players tied, but they only had two categories each. I've got 13 offensive categories. Two players had two wins. Henry Aaron, this is his third win. Way to go, Hank. And Dick Groyd had two categories. What did they do in 1960? Dick Groyd won the batting title, 325, and he had the most singles, 154. Henry Aaron had the most runs batted in, 126, and he had the most total bases, 334. So both of those guys have two categories. Willie Mays had the most hits, but he only won one category. Can't give it to him. Ernie Banks had the home runs, 41. Bill Bruton, triples. Veda, Pinson, doubles. Run scored, Mickey Mantle. And the slugging, Frank Robinson. On base, Richie Ashburn. Base on balls, Eddie Yosh. And stolen bases, Louis Aparicio. But all those guys I just mentioned only had one category. Got to give it to the guys that get two. Henry Aaron, Dick Wright. Let's look at their seasons. Dick Wright, 1960. 138 games, 573 at bats, 186 hits. He just hit two homers. They had 50 RBIs, but he led the league in hitting. 325, and he had the most singles, 154, 186. So he's not a power hitter. Two categories. How about Henry Aaron, 1960? You know, he's coming off the 1959 season where he had a 355 average, and he won that year. So he goes back to back. How about Henry Aaron? 153 games, missed one. 590 at bats, 102 RBI, 102 runs scored, 172 hits. That's less than Groit. 20 doubles, 11 triples, 40 homers, 126 RBI. That's good. The homers and the RBI. But he had a 292 where Groit had 325. Aaron had the homers in the RBI. Groit had more hits and better batting average. So that's why I'm giving it to both of them. Aaron, he wins the, the uh, total bases. 334, and he won the RBI, right? Let's see. Yeah, Aaron won, wins RBI and total bases. Didn't win the homers. Ernie Banks had 41, so Aaron just missed out on the Triple Crown because he had 40 homers, 126 RBI. Oh, but his batting average is not enough, so there's no Triple Crown. Aaron, 1960, batted 292. A little disappointing on the average. He played every game. Should be above 300. So we're starting the new decade, 1960. I'm giving it to Dick Groit and Henry Aaron, two categories each. If there was another guy, I would have gave it to him. But as far as the players standing now, Dick Groit, got to give it to him for the, for the batting average, right? 325 and 186 cents. Good year. All right, new decade, 1960. Let's see who performs in this decade. You got a lot of good players coming up. You got players retiring in this decade, like Ted Williams and Stan Musial are at the end of their careers. We got Richie Ashburn playing, Ernie Banks, Willie Mays, Roberto Clemente, Mickey Mantle. Some guys who made the Hall of Fame are playing in the 1960s. Let's see how it goes, who wins each individual year in this decade. 
Aaron and Groit lead off the decade, winning it. 1961, stellar year. You know what happened that year? Stay tuned. I'm out.